Hello, just going to run through a video today planning a flight through Wingtra Hub. Super simple process. I'll go through kind of the way using a KML and why that's useful and whatnot. So here we go. So from our sort of view screen here, we'll select flight plans. Again, these are all of our prior flight plans or test plans I've made. So we'll create a new one. Got today's date. Again, the naming structure is really up to you. Next will be your camera, your payload. We'll go with the RX-1 as normal. From there, we have the option to import a KML or, or to not, so you don't have to, which will then just let you use Google Maps, which you can then place where you're standing as well. And, or we'll go the KML import as I will here. So we're just gonna use our office location as a reference point. As you can see, this is, this is us here. This is just a basic outline there. What is nice is you can add multiple KMLs. You aren't bound to just fly in this area. It's basically just a guide to show where your KML is, where you want to map exactly. So again, we can choose coloring if we want. That we can add more KMLs. So if you do have multiple areas you need to capture, you can set those as well as multiple flight areas if you need. So that's that. So for the plan, select here. Again, we can't really set our home point from our PC, but we will select our area, this one. Again, as I said earlier, we're not bound to our to our KML file for where we can fly. It's really just a guide of the area we want. So, okay. This is a pretty basic shape, as you can see. But again, what is nice with Winter Hub is if you click here, you can add. So if you do have some sort of complex shapes, you have multiple points you can use where it's going to record images. And you can turn those off too. Again, you can fly multiple areas if needed, but for this video, I'll, I'll just fly one. So as we come over to the right here, we have our safety parameters tab. Pretty self-explanatory what these are really, but these are all defaulted at the moment. Coming down to our area. Again, terrain following on or off, that's kind of up to you. Typically, if I'm not that familiar with the area, I always fly with that on. But if I'm familiar with the area, I get a little bit more comfortable and, and we'll turn that off. So again, our height above the ground, ground sampling distance, our flight direction. As you can see, pending wind, pending areas is going to dictate how you fly that. Overlap, typically we run 75-75. Again, that's, that's fairly up to the end user. What is nice here is you can then lock this and then you can save this. So you can plan from your PC and then sort of email to your site, put it to your flash drive, whatever, which is nice too. Also another, another sort of real bonus, uh, one of the things I really like about this is be able to sort of replicate the plans. So as you can see, you can open another, you can copy this, or you can export to flash drive. So again, if you fly in the same week, site week in, week out, you can copy it, you're going to fly the exact same area, you know what you're going to expect, which is, yeah, which is a nice feature. Okay, well, you can you can delete it if you if you need. One thing I will show while we're here is a bit of a terrain map, which is a really nice feature as well. Also down the bottom here, you can see basically how far, total distance, how long it's going to take, the total area covered, how many images. And then as we bring this up here, you'll see a bit of a terrain map. Not a lot of terrain or elevation change here. But it can be nice with this to sort of set your flight direction to sort of smooth that out as best as practical. But yeah, it's about all I've run through today. So again, maps wise, you don't need to fly to a KML. So you can plan another area just using basically the drop and drag as such. So again, if I plan another area, as you can see here, I can fly as you wish. So yeah. Quick run through, obviously any questions regarding this or anything we drop, reach out to us at SciTech Pacific and yeah, thank you. Have a good day.